Hey React Native developers, welcome to another tutorial of animations in React Native. Today we are going to build this cool transition from one image to another using the shaders language. We are going to use React Native Skia into this to build this transition in React Native. So we are going to use some shaders, image shaders in React Native and I will show you how you can integrate them in the React Native. So let's start building this now. So we will start from the scratch. I have already cleared the boilerplate from the React Native and right now we just have a text written on the screen. Also I have installed the packages which we are going to need in the tutorial. React Native Skia, React Native Gesture Handler, React Native Reanimated and Redis. These are the main libraries which we are going to use to implement the shaders in Skia and and there will be two things which we are going to do in the first thing is i'm going to show you how react native skia shaders work and how we can impl implement different types of shaders into the react native skia and then i will show you how we can build that animation using the flat list position and we will animate the shaders based on the position so let's start building a component called source components skia canvas dot js so in this component we will build the canvas and the shaders and then we are going to implement that as an item in the flat list so let's do that i will import skia canvas and i will remove this one so if we do this nothing is changed we just imported the skia canvas which have a text centered and we are going to remove the text centered and let's add the canvas into this so we will import the canvas from this react native skit and then we will add the style to flex one so that we can get the whole view of the screen and to show you that the canvas is working fine i will just add a random circle from this kia where cx will be 100 cy is again 100 then r50 and color is red so if we do this we will have a circle on the canvas which you can see right now so let me remove this warning we are getting this warning because react is not imported so i will import react from react and if we do this now our warning is gone so let me clear this up so now i'm just going to copy a sample boilerplate shader from the react native skia page so we have this page and we go to shaders and then language and then down below we have the nested shader which we are going to use so we will just copy this and replace this with the circle then i will import fill shader and image shader i will also copy this source which is this kia which is the shader code and i'm going to use this and we are going to build shaders in this only so i will import skia and let's create a constant name image one and let's use it use image I'll, i'm just going to copy some url from the unsplash so that we can use the image let's say i want to copy this this will be our first image and i will pass it here so if i pass this then you can see we have a image where we have applied the shader effect and this is what we are getting when we apply the effect if you want to see what we get when we are not applying it so we can just disable this and when we remove this so we will get the plain image which was here on the unsplash but if you want to apply some effects let's say i just want colors in the rbga format then i will do this and i will get different effect on the image and if i redo this thing then i will get the layout centered in this way if you want to make the changes to the x-axis then you can also do that and let's make it 10 then you can see like we have changed the image a lot from this image to this image we have applied a shader effect into this so we are going to 
we are going to need two images into this so first let me center this and then we will add the second image so const image width it will be 90 percent of the screen width so let's say width and height is equal to dimensions dot get window so width into 0 0.9 and image height will be 300 let's say not 300 i will add just to 250 250 is good and i will remove this width image width height image width image height sorry x is equal to width minus image width by 2 so this will center into the x-axis and for the y we will add height minus image height by 2 and if we do this let me reload this first so as you can see right now our image is centered but let's say I want to make it 2.0.8 yeah now this looks good and I also want to remove these headers so it will be just the image I just want to return the image so now let me add the second image so it will be const image to use image and I will just copy this link and I will copy this and use the image too so if I do this then I will get the blank screen because right now we are just making a uniform constant in the Skia language which is just only image one or only one image we are going to add another image so let's do that uniform shader image 2 and let's make it image 1 and if I do this then our image will be visible but let's fix this error so now as you can see our image first image is visible if you want to show the second image then we will just do image 2 dot eval and if you want to show both the images we can also do that so it will be multi we just have to multiply the colors and it will blend the colors into single image so image 2 dot eval we will do this and then you can see we have a nice effect nice shader which we have applied by combining two images and you can also do rbga to add more colors to it so as you can see like when we are applying shaders when we are applying effects in the shader language then we are getting a beautiful effect into this so right now we will show only one image and we are not going to show the second one so this image is good so now let's add some progress to it so when we do the pen gesture handler when we move our finger from right to left we want to show the second image when we are moving our finger so i will add a pen gesture handler so first i will create the progress it will be a shared value use shared value zero and i will create a pen gesture so const pen gesture gesture from the active gesture handler then pen on change i will get the position and progress dot value will be i will use the clamp so that our progress comes between 0 to 1 and don't change so it will be progress dot value minus pose dot change x by width and lower bound will be 0 and higher bound is upper bound is 1 so if i do this and i will apply the pen gesture handler into this component so gesture detector gesture is equal to gesture also we need to add the styling so we don't need to add the styling but we will get the error because we also need the gesture handler root view inside the app or in the root view so that we get the gestures and we can detect gestures so gesture handler root view style is equal to container and let's wrap this so let's see if our gesture is working fine i will log the progress dot value and when i do this gesture let me see yeah our gesture is working fine when i'm moving my finger moving my cursor then we are getting the progress value updated so now i will tell you how we can pass this progress value to the shader we are going to define a uniform float progress and we will pass the uniforms inside the shader so const 
uniforms use derived value i'm using use derived value hook because when we update this air value we will get the updated object because of this because when something changes it will give the new object so progress is progress to value i will also pass the resolution so let's say that now at what width and height we are up applying this effect so resolution is width and height and i will pass it inside this top uniforms so when we pass this object we get the uniform float progress and we will also get uniform vector to resolution and it will be not vector 2 it will be float 2 if we do this nothing will be changed if you even if we reload nothing will be changed because we are not applying any effect into this we are just returning this image or we can return the second image that totally depends on us so now let's play with this progress and resolution so to apply any shader we can also copy the transition code from gltransition.com website let me show you so gltransition.com slash gallery you can apply all these effects which are visible here just by copying pasting your code into this code and then you can apply this like you can nicely apply this newspaper effect but as of now we need this effect on our image so let's just copy this code and I will add this and then we will, we will return transition xy and first let's normalize this so uv is equal to xy by resolution I will pass the uv so if I do this then I will get a error which is get from color get to color are not defined whenever you copy anything from this website you will get this error but if we define this first and then we import that copy or copy paste the code then it will work for each of the images which you are going so let's define it get from color vector p2 and so from colors means from which image we want to go and then get to color to which color which we want to go which we want to apply from from this image to that image let's say so it will be image one dot eval p into resolution and vec four get to color return image two dot eval same code and if you just copy paste it and don't forget the semicolon where is the uv okay so it is not constant it is vec2 vector2 basically because const is not defined in this so i will use vec2 and then where we are getting this error okay so now it will work fine we have fixed the error so when i move my finger you can see we are getting the nice effect when we are moving our fingers but this was the not the effect which we wanted because we wanted it from the right to left not from left to right so for doing that we will change the step from 1.0 minus p dot x and if we do this and reload this then when i move my finger it will work and go with my finger so now this looks fine this looks interesting also i will show you how you can add some other code from this website and how you can fix the errors which you get so let's say i want to copy this transition or this shader this is a huge code but don't panic this is just a simple code we just have to copy paste here and when we do this we will get the error because we are defining uniform but we are not passing them inside this object so what we will do we will not pass this but we will just define them here only so let's remove these floats and let's add the default value to this so now if i do this then our code will work first first i reload it and then you can see how this animation this image is transitioning into the image which we have the second image and we are getting a nice effect 
so there is a lot of things are going on you can just copy paste it or you if you want to play with this code then you can do it here also so that's all for this video if you have came along till the end then please hit the like button also if you have any queries or doubts then you can write down in the comment section below and i will try to solve them as soon as possible so in the next tutorial i will show you how you can animate these shaders based on scroll view position of the flat list and also how you can take snapshots of views and images from the react native and how you can show them into the canvas of react native skia so hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon so you can get the notification as soon as i upload the video and you can watch them as soon as possible so thank you so much